Hello and welcome to this first tutorial in Pygame. So this series of tutorials are based around making your very first game and before we do that we need to learn the basics of how to use Pygame. Now first off you'll need Pygame installed on the machine you're using and I'll be creating a separate video to show you how to do that so make sure you've watched that first if you do not already have Pygame installed on your machine. So. In order to make a game in Pygame, the first thing we have to do is import the Pygame library and that will give us all the functionality that we need to create our game. The next thing we're going to do is create some colours. So we're using RGB values here, so what we've got is the variable black which is set to 0, 0, 0. Now this is a tuple, it's a little bit like a list but you never edit the values within it. And why would you? We're setting some colors, so there's no need to change them. So a tuple is ideal. Now we're setting it to zero red, zero green, and zero blue. So that will give us a value of black. We do exactly the same for white. And now we're setting values of 255, 255, 255. For, so that's the maximum value of red, green, and blue, which gives you white. Now to get red, we just set a value of 255, so that's um, a maximum value in the red channel, 0 green and 0 blue, and that will give us our colour of red. So that means later on in the game we can just use the word red, white or black, rather than having to type in all of the values again and again. So saves on code later on. The next thing we need to do is to open a window and set its size. So let's have a look at that. So First, we're setting a variable, um, calling it size, we could call it screen size, but we're calling it size. And we're setting it to a value of 700 by 500. And that will give us the height and width of our window. And then we use pygame.displaySet underscore mode to set the size of the window. You can see the variable size in there. Um, you could, of course, just type 700 by 500 in there. But it makes sense to set these things up initially into variables because it saves you repeating code later. So now whenever we want to change the screen size, we can just change it once here and everywhere else in our code will automatically change rather than having to edit multiple pieces of code. So that will give us our screen. Now the next thing we're going to do is set the color, the background color of our screen to white. And we do it in this way. We just go screen.fill and you, we can now use that variable white which we created earlier. We could change set it to black or red, however we desire. But in this case we're just going to set it to white. So now we've got our screen, the next thing we need to do is to be able to draw shapes on our screen because for any kind of a game you're going to want to have you know various things on the screen, you know, they could be cars, they could be aliens, you know, it could be whatever you want. So we need to learn how to draw some basic shapes. So here we're using pygame.drawRect, so that's going to be a rectangle, and we're saying draw it onto the screen, so that's that we're referring to the variable here, so that's going to draw it onto our screen and we're setting the color to red and again that's all set up here so otherwise we'd have had to have typed in here 25500 now we can just use a variable name quick and easy we're going to set the position so we're going to set the x and the y value we're going to set the length and the width of our rectangle and don't forget here we've got some square brackets pop it inside of there and don't forget to close off your um, bracket here as well Next thing we're going to do is create an ellipse, so it's exactly the same, pygame.draw and then ellipse. We're going to draw it to the screen, this time we're going to set it to black, and we're going to draw it in a slightly different position, sort of on the, on the far left hand side of the screen, a little bit down from the top, and we set the size. Now the final thing we do need to do to get this working is we need to um, update the screen after we've drawn some items to it, and we do that by using display.flip and that will update the screen and show us what we've got. So finally we need to run our code and check everything's working. So you can either press F5 or you can click on run and run module, whichever you prefer. So we save it and we run it and then if all goes well, you've coded it correctly, you will get your ellipse and your rectangle successfully drawn to the screen. 
Now the next thing to do just to practice getting the hang of this, you know, you can change a color here and here to one of the other ones set. You can try setting a few different colors, you know, green or blue, just to get the hang of practicing and have a play with these values here. So for example, if I wanted this to be maybe a platform in a game, I might want it to be, you know, quite a lot longer than it is at the moment. So I could set that maybe to rather than 100, I could set that to 300. I could run the game again and I would get a much longer rectangle. There you go. So I've changed the length of the rectangle here. I might want to have it, you know, further down the screen. So again, I can change the values here to move it, you know, further down the screen. So rather than 200 here, I could maybe set that to 400. And by having a play with the code, you're learning how to, you know, position things on the screen. Because if I was setting up a platform game, I would need to know exactly how to position my platforms. And by playing with the code here, you can learn all about it. Okay, thanks for listening, and I'll catch up with you next time.